Okay, so to start, I usually measure out my ribbon. Um, I usually do 16 to 18 inches. Um, you can do as long as you want. It just depends on how big or small you want your bow. Um, if you do make it too long, you can always cut it in the end. So yeah, what I'm doing here is I already measured how long I want my ribbon, so I'm just cutting it off. Okay, so to start, you're going to use your four fingers and you're going to place it in between the middle. So then you're going to go under your index finger and then you're going to go over your middle finger, back under, over the index finger again, under that, over, and then instead of looping it again, you're going to take the ribbon and then you're going to put it in between the gap of your finger at the bottom. Pull that through. As you can see, I'm doing here. <clears throat> Excuse me. And then you're gonna pull it over, and then you're gonna put it right through this loop right here. Then, when you get it through the loop, it's a little hard because I got nails. You just pull it down, and then your ribbon is complete. So I'm just gonna show you how I cut the ribbon at the bottom, so you can see. For this next part, you can pretty much just watch. It's a little hard to explain. What I'm going to do is fold the ribbon in half, and then I'm going to cut on the outer part. Just pretty much make sure that the outer part is always facing downwards when you cut. So as you can see here, my ribbon is frayed at the end, so I'm going to seal that. What I'm doing here is I'm going to use the lighter to seal it so I just pass it through really fast. Don't leave it too long because you don't want to burn the ribbon. Okay, so now I'm going to show you another step which is using ribbon that is not double sided so you see how it's satin on this side and then the other side is matte so I'm just going to show you how to do it with this other ribbon so as we did in the beginning you're going to do the same steps but when you start looping like I'm doing here you're going to flip it over you want to make sure that the satin side is always showing so basically the same exact steps as we did in the first bowl and then you just flip it every time you create a loop. You can get it from any craft store. And like I made the Chanel C logo, that's just glitter card stock. So yeah, you get any item that you like and you just use a glue gun and glue it to the bow and jazz it up exactly how you want it to look. And you're all set. I got the armor on the 